This supersonic research plane has already taken a number of steps toward Mach 3, 2,000 miles an hour at 70,000 feet. It's completed phase one of flight test, pushed well past the speed of sound. Its structure has survived a severe proof loading program. Most recently, it sustained supersonic speed for over one hour. I'm from now, two hours, zero, zero, one, and ready to take. Roger, cleared for takeoff, one ready. First flights are always significant, but this one was especially so. A totally new aerodynamic design was involved. Materials and processes never before used were getting their initial try. Coming up on power. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, break release now. Acceleration was rapid. Liftoff occurred under 5,000 feet. A normal climb was set. After feeling out the controls, the gear handle was placed at up. The gear went through the first cycle, folding the bogies, into the second, then stopped. Gear has rotated and stopped, is not folding. An alternate plan with gear down kept the plane in flight for over one hour. Both pilots' comments and the data obtained showed low speed handling qualities to be very favorable. 50 feet. 30, 20, 10, 5, on. A beauty. Just turn in the left gear. Left gear is on fire. A brake had locked. The two rear tires blew and started burning, but the forward two wheels supported the load. There was no difficulty in bringing the plane to a safe straight line stop. Two weeks later, the plane was out on the Edwards runway for the second takeoff. The plan for this first series of flights was to establish subsonic handling qualities, then move up to Mach 1 and beyond. With the gear safely up, they leveled off at 16,000 feet and ran a long series of stability and flutter checks. Then climbing toward 35,000 feet, a warning light blinked on. A hydraulic system had lost pressure. Now normal precautionary procedures were used. The gear was lowered immediately. An approach was set for Rogers Dry Lake. Touchdown was normal. Drag chutes and brakes decelerated the plane to a routine stop. A week later, the third flight. Most of the low speed handling qualities were known now. With confidence, speed was pushed up to 0.95 and a data series recorded. Then afterburners were lit and the XB-70 moved past the speed of sound to Mach 1.1. Three times it made the jump from sub to supersonic. Fifteen minutes were spent above Mach 1. There was also minor loss of paint. Where the paint was applied too thick, flexing of the structure loosened it and it peeled off. The B-70 was into supersonic testing just 21 days after first flight. Another major area of interest was folding the wingtips. The tips fold down to increase directional stability. This is equivalent to increasing the vertical tail area, but without the attendant weight and drag penalties. Moving the tips down also reinforces compression lift effects and shifts the center of lift forward to minimize trim drag. With tips down to 25 degrees, full afterburner was selected and speed increased from 0.95 to Mach 1.4, almost halfway to the goal, three times the speed of sound. Phase one testing was completed in 34 days with 55 minutes logged above Mach 1. Total flight time, over five hours. Next on the schedule was a complete proof loading. Lifting, controlling, and stabilizing surfaces were loaded to their limits. Deflection was as predicted, and the surfaces met all requirements of high-speed flight. 
After thorough proof loading, the plane was ready for flight five, the start of phase two tests. The aim of this series is to move steadily toward Mach 3 and 70,000 feet. The bulk of data will be taken above Mach 1. Procedure first lowers the tips to 25 degrees. Accelerate to Mach 1.4, then move them fully down 65 degrees. With the plane shaped for high speed, throttles were advanced and Mach 1.6 was reached, a new high for B-70 performance. The sixth mission was at heavy weight, 457,000 pounds at takeoff. Data was taken during climb to test altitude. At 35,000 feet, a hydraulic system showed a pressure drop requiring immediate lowering of the landing gear and return to base. The touchdown on the lake bed was at the heaviest landing weight recorded, 370,000 pounds. Pressure loss was traced to a leaking hydraulic line. Flight 7 was especially significant. At 494,000 pounds, the takeoff was the heaviest to date. Total time aloft was one hour and 37 minutes, with 62 minutes of sustained supersonic flight. Much of the 62 minutes was spent above Mach 1.4. So we'll put the wingtips down on three, two, one, now. Those tips look real steady. Flight with wingtips down is now becoming routine, and the tips move to full down early in the test. As speed goes up, chase planes can only stay with the flight for short periods. Most of the time, it cruises alone. How are you doing, Chase 2? I can stay with you for probably about another uh, 10 minutes. A top speed of Mach 1.87 was recorded, and an altitude 50,000 feet was reached. In addition to new speed and altitude highs, much stability and control data was added as the plane streaked out over the desert test range. Joe, that's three sisters there north of us. We're a good ways from you, yeah, uh, If you got another chase down there, get him in the air. After decelerating, engines were shut down and restarted. There were two restarts made at Mach 1.4. Another was made at a lower speed. Okay, starter up, Fitz. Air start is on. Marker 5160, throttle coming to idle. Inlet ducts, bypass doors, and ram air scoop were successfully operated. On this one hour, 37 minute flight, the XB-70A maintained supersonic speeds for one hour. On the 24th of March, the XB-70A took off at a weight in excess of 500,000 pounds. This liftoff weight was the heaviest yet recorded by any aircraft. As the aircraft reached Mach 2, the inlet ducts were started for the first time. Starting the inlets is accomplished by adjustment of the ramps and bypass doors to position the shock in the throat of the inlet. At an altitude of 56,000 feet, a speed of Mach 2.14 was reached. During this flight, supersonic speeds were sustained for one hour and 14 minutes, another new record. 40 minutes were at Mach 2 or above. At the end of flight number eight, test time totaled 22 minutes, three hours and 49 minutes of which were at supersonic speed. Future missions are planned to steadily increase speed and altitude, moving 1,000 miles at 70,000 feet. <laughs>